Just the general treatment of women in gaming. I'll do Fox News. Yeah. Oh, I found one for you. I've got a good one for you, yeah. <laughs> Just kind of, something kind of silly, like, something funny. Yeah. Uh, just go on, if you're on the main page, just scroll down. I don't know, I don't know how far, a couple, a couple scrolls. Oh. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds responds to Queen Elizabeth launching her own gin line. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, it's the picture of Ryan. You'll see it. Billy Eilish is too above it, so <laughs> where? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have that on my screen. What the heck? Like the link to it? Give me a second. There you go.
it does look really good. Like, and it's not really, ex it, it's not, it's not even really that expensive. So, like, it does look very good. It's a very classy bottle, like. It's a beautiful bottle. I didn't even know that they were closed. Jesus! To the start. It was, I mean, it, it was shocking to, shocking to see. The average uh, weight for a beagle would probably be between 25, 30, 30-ish pounds. And so to see a beagle 90 pounds, and it's never too late to, to start could only walk, I mean, maybe 20 feet at a time before he just to stop. I mean, our first walk was to our, our mailbox. You know, we, we started with slow steps and his attitude really helped with the, with the weight loss because he wanted to walk further. His willingness to seemingly want to get better made it easier for, I think, for his recovery. And Wolfgang didn't give up on himself at any point in time. And so that's kind of motivating not to give up on, on him either.
No. This entire time. Wow, my mic's been muted this entire time. So let me recap everything because this is a no edit. Um, we just went through the news um, and we found a 90 pound beagle that was not supposed to be. You guys seen the 90 pound beagle? You guys definitely heard about it, so. Um, it was a 90 pound beagle that you guys should not let your dog get to 90 pounds. It's not funny. It did kind of look funny, not gonna lie. It was like a walking penguin. But, um, let me recap again. So, we're gonna go on with some CG news. I got my Matt Ryan jersey up. My grandma's Kyle Ripken. She was a Baltimore Orioles fan. And I got my little kid jersey. Um, most of you guys already know that I'm in my new gaming room. And hopefully. Um, when I get this new PC, however long that might take, um, I'll have a dog cam up. I'm going to get, um, more places for my dog. That's actually a futon I bought for them. So they can just sit here and you guys can watch them. I'll have feeders lined up for them so they can eat whenever they want to, huh, Groot? Because, you know, he's such a good dog. Um, right now, my room's a little bit of a mess. I'm still reorganizing everything getting everything set up but uh this is going to be the home of most of my videos now so hope you guys enjoy it um and watch the progress being uh done to it uh the wall behind me will be my snack bar uh when i stream pc you guys will see that um i actually might become a full-time pc player yeah you gotta move over just a just a little bit um sorry about my shit being muted that's one that's all on me I can blame Alex too. It's just because I can always blame Alex for not doing audio checks, but that's alright. You know. Thank you, Didi. Um But yeah, we are on the home stretch. Um so the news didn't really talk about anything. Um there was a strange object in Utah in Romania. So I don't know what the hell that's about. Maybe aliens is real. Holy shit, it's 2020. Nothing's going to surprise me. Uh, what else I did want to show you is the shelf back here, back behind me. That's going to be home of all my Funkos. I have a lot of Funko Pops. Right now, it's, it's home for junk. So, again, don't mind the junk. Um, but we are here today with Alex and Ethan may join eventually. I don't know. Uh Possibly. Um, but I do have some awesome CG news to talk about. So, like I said, I am getting a new PC. I just don't know exactly when. Um, and my old PC, I'm probably going to do a giveaway for it. So, uh, it's probably going to be a Colossal member, if anything, or even a tournament for it. Haven't decided. I haven't even decided if I'm going to actually just get rid of it yet. I haven't, haven't discussed that a lot. 
um, because it is a really good PC. Um, it's obviously, it's obviously good. Um, I just want a better one. That's all. I want one that's liquid cool. It's gonna handle a lot of uh, vigorous activities on it. Hardcore porn. It's on it. Yeah, that's. If you take it that way, then sure. Alex, I know you watch what? more porn than I do. Oh yeah. You're a hardcore porn addict. Oh yeah, I need um, to go to porn <clears throat> user or porn watchers anonymous. Yes. Unfortunately, I did not bring any beer upstairs. Um, I'm on the third floor. If you guys do not know my store, uh, my house, my brand new house. Has a first floor, a basement, and a third floor, and we're on the third floor, so I don't feel like going into my basement in my bar to um, get a beer. So we're stuck here today with some Monster and whatever Alex is drinking. I do have some moonshine in here, though. I'm not gonna lie. Denim and Coke. Maybe I'll dip into the moonshine a little bit. Oh lord. So some CG talk. What has happened with CG since the last time I did a podcast? And the last time I did a podcast, hmm. I could not remember when that was. I know it was this year. Um, I postponed it um, because, first of all, I was tired of coming home from work on a... Oh, okay, Gigi. Um, I got tired of coming home from work on a Monday and not being able to do a podcast. I was getting too tired. So I just I decided, you know what? I'm going to do it in the winter months. I'm laid off now. So every time the podcast will start, it is on a Monday at 9 to tune in. Um, since I was muted earlier, hello YouTube. Um, this is a non-edit video, so go ahead and make fun of it if you want to. Um, yes, I fucked up by having my mic muted. My bad. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> but I want to start these podcasts when I get laid off, so on Monday I have a lot more time to talk. I don't have to rush things. I can actually just sit and talk to you guys. So join me every Monday at 9 p.m. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do one every single Monday, but I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible because I need subjects. Now, I have a Discord on Twitch. Go to the Discord. Join our Discord. I have a podcast um, chat in there on my channel, Murdoch Gamer 94 which needs updated because it's not 94 no more. I have a podcast suggestion hub. Go put in your suggestions, and I will talk about it. I will talk about everything that's in this podcast section. I promise. It might take a while, but I'll get to it because I like to do a lot of research first. In today's subjects, we're going to talk about a little bit of CG. And Alex, I think I've already asked you, and they heard you because I have my Elgato working. Uh, we're going to be talking about female gamers. Not um, not just female gamers, but like, I don't know how. Alex explains it better than I do. The hatred they get. Is it hatred? Just the, just, well, just the general treatment. Like... Yeah, they either uh, get a lot of love or they get a lot of hate. That's, yes, that's there seems opinion. like there. Yes, there seems to be all, almost no in between. There are exceptions, but. And I agree. I agree. Um, but let me continue a little bit with CG talk. So we have uh, a new captain on the COD team, which will be Jake. Um, Popping Blizzies in here, as you can see. Um, he, I have him muted, so I can't hear him if he's talking. Um, so sorry, Jake. I love you. Um, but he's uh, the COD captain. Hopefully, we can get the COD team rolling a little bit more this year. Me and him's actually two and zero in duos and GB ladders. We haven't really played a lot though. I mean, we only did two matches. Um, but I, I really have good hopes for our COD team, even though I I'm actually not a big fan of the new Cold War. Um, there's a lot of things that's I don't even want to Need say the word. Con. Yeah, I don't even want to say the word tweaked. It needs needs fixed. There's no tweaking. I have a clip that I got uh, a hardcore that I was shooting 
a, a rocket launcher at a guy and it took four rockets to kill a guy. That is not, no. That needs fixed. Bad. Um, however, the game itself is just very plain. But zombies is great. I think zombies, I think they, they killed the zombies. I think the zombies is awesome. I think they need to put... I think it needs more maps. Honestly, I think that's what's killing it for me, is it needs more maps. There's no variety. Like, Nuketown helped. Don't get me wrong. But, I think it just... It needs more... More maps. It needs a lot more than just maps, though. I agree. I agree with that. Oh my god, there's Ethan. Hmm. Ethan does join us. So, um, we also have a new Apex captain, um, Aphrodisiac. Um, go check his channel out. Uh, he's really good at Apex. However, he is really liking Cold War. I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, he really is. Me being the COD player that I am, I, it's, just, it's just not a, I don't know. I'm not, I'm feeling it, but I'm not feeling it. Um. What's up, fuckers? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Jake can hear me or not. I hit unmute audio, but it doesn't unmute him, so. Same. Um. But yeah, I, I, I'm feeling pretty good with our COD team a little bit. And then our Apex, we actually had two tournaments. Um, I think they did really good. Um, obviously, there's always room for improvement, especially on a, a young team. We're not competitive. I'm competitive, but Colossal Gaming's not... We're not based around competition. Um, I'm a competitive player. I've always been a competitive... I'm a competitive player person in general it doesn't matter i'm just a competitive person all right and that's either a downfall or it's a good thing and most of the time for me i believe it's a good thing because i don't let it get to my head all the time um <clears throat> <clears throat> all the time <laughs> sometimes i let it get to my head well, you know, one percent of the time it's not, it's not yeah like beer pong i'm 32 and 2 okay I lost. I finally lost this finally year. Lost this that was year. Megan's joke. I'm just saying. Megan hasn't beat me yet. Megan is Ethan's girlfriend, by the way. I haven't lost to her yet. So yeah, I will brag about that. And just like that jersey back there in the back, number 48. On both them sleeves, both you, see them writing, sleeves you see writing. Your boy went undefeated. Your boy went undefeated. Quarterback right here. All right. Yes, I will brag about it when I know I'm good at something. You know, like Call of Duty, Bear Pump, football. I'll fix myself, look presentable. Minecraft, I'm undefeated in that shit too. Hi, huh, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are we doing Minecraft I'd be undefeated in? Oh, that's right, making better uh, things than you all the time. So, well, against Alex, that's not a big challenge, though. So. That's true. Yeah, I could make a boat yeah, and make, make it look better than hers. <laughs> I just hear a laugh in the background. <laughs> um, shirts. Uh, we have a couple shirts that we have. We just haven't made them. We're making our own shirts. I know a lot of people was asked about that. We're going to have shirts. Just You got to give me a few to... I, I finally got a Colossal Bank account. However, the Colossal Bank account comes after I get my computer. Um, we're also going to have a Colossal Christmas tree. If you see at the very top, um, it's going to cost me about 90... What was it? What was the tree? $98? $92? Something like that, yeah. If y'all can help me get the tree, I'll have it a lot sooner. I actually thought about putting it up in my room. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. 
probably not. Probably gonna put it down where everyone can see it in my house because I usually get a lot of visitors. Um, so I'll have it down in the base or not in the basement, down in the the family room with the fireplace. We'll decorate. And anyone who donates or subscribes or anything like Gigi has, Alex has, I know Sarah has, I'm going to get a uh, some ornaments and you guys will be put on the tree. All of Colossal is already going to be on the tree, doesn't matter. I think Gigi's going to be on there a couple times since she did donate. Um, so why not? why not make it something eventful for everyone? Um, so if you guys donate, you'll be put on the tree. Um, I think what I'm going to do though, like since Gigi did send bits and donate, I think I'm going to do like certain types of ornaments everyone can put on the tree. Um, we'll do a Christmas decorating stream or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. There's a lot that goes into all of this because a black Christmas tree with orange... What the fuck's that stuff called? Tinsel. Tinsel? Tinsel, yes. Garland is also... Garland? A garland, yes. Yeah, what the fuck kind of names do people make? I don't understand. What the fuck? Garland. Let me put garland on my tree. This is... No, I like tinsel. Tinsel sounds better. Tinsel is a funny word to say. That's why I like... Ethan, what are you drinking today? You drinking any beer or anything? Anything special? I got a monster. I got a monster. Uh, water. Wow. My boy's staying hydrated. Give him a round of applause. My boy's staying hydrated. Gotta love that H2O. I mean, I got H2O. It's high quality, my dude. Is there... Is, it's from Bobby Boucher. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I have much CG news besides I know a few people want these hats. If you guys want Colossal Gaming hats, I need to know. Um, some of my Colossal members will be getting them. But again, if I'm shipping them and paying for them, they'll have to give me a few, few months, weeks. They'll get them eventually. Oh, I know Afro and Jake's going to be getting one. And then... And then Jesus. And then, um... Our shirts, like I said, I, I got so many different types of shirts. Small, medium, large, extra small, extra large. I got even an extra large, big and tall. So I got to get so many different, like, shirts. I can't just buy them in bulk. Which kind of suck. Um, but... I'll get those done. We actually have to have a sleeve design. Alex, we still don't have a sleeve design for the left sleeve. Um, but other than that, CG news is pretty well done and over with. Let's get on to the real subject. Alex, you want to kick it off? Um, I'm not really quite sure where to, to start, I guess. Women gamers suck. Can we just start there? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that what you wanted to talk about? How bad you are yeah. video games? I mean, yes, yes. you've seen how I play. Yeah, and if Ethan sucks, that means women's even worse. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's, let's get on a serious topic here. So, my problem, and this is a problem, is that... Most women who play video games tend to get a lot more hatred than love, I think. Um, uh, personal, personally, I have never been berated over it. Like, I've never had a random guy or a random, like, guy on a, in a lobby tell me, like, go make him a sandwich. Usually, I'm met with a lot of, uh, I guess, positive vibes, like, the only time I've ever had someone, and it wasn't even bad, was that one fucking guy that was like, I know there's bitches in this lobby, and like we all had a good laugh about it, because it was funny. But I've never had people, now, I don't play Apex in-game chat, and I've heard a lot of Apex is actually negative, but 
but I've also, to me, I played probably a little bit more than you. Agreed, no, and I, no I usually, no, and I usually, I don't go into game chat like you do, like, so that's definitely another thing, is that I just don't go into game chat. Now, if we're talking about in-game like that, I haven't had a lot of people be dicks to women all the time. However, I'm talking about, like, video clips and shit. Okay. I see more hate comments on a girl's clip or video than I see on anyone's. Thank you, yes. The, honestly, that that's about the only negative energy I've ever gotten is, like, on my TikTok videos that have to do with gaming. They just, they sit there and they just go at it, like... Okay. Like it's just a fun clip. It's just a fun clip, guys. Like, you, you don't have to The be... other thing comes with the looks. So, like, I noticed, and, and this is... Oh, this, this is just me good. talking <laughs> about hatred on, on women's clips. So, I've seen, in, in my defense, I am a male. So, I can... I'm gonna vouch for this. On a woman who was not as good looking, compared to a woman who is good looking, there's still hate on both sides. One... Yes. I've seen people want to, the woman who wasn't so good looking, say, well, maybe if you were prettier, you'd play better. And then, Which makes absolutely no sense, but sure. And then on the person who looked good, I've seen comments saying, well, if you wasn't worried about your makeup, you could play better. I'm like, wait a minute. You'd have more, you'd have more time to play. Yeah. And that's, that's basically why I thought of this topic was because of comments like that, that I've also seen. And just like society, there's always double standards. Exactly. And I don't, I just don't get it. All right. Can, can we just set aside the fact that they're a woman and they play a video game? Like, thank you. That's, that's literally all that women who, who game want is just for it to be set aside that they game. Yeah, and then uh, I don't know how you guys feel about the comment. I, I'm not a girl, so I can't I can't vouch for this comment. But the the uh, sit with the boys and or be like the boys and play video games or something like that. What the hell is that saying? Oh. I don't even know. It's like uh, I seen it on a movie one time too. The comment where like only boys video games. So like when a girl sits down to play a video game, it's like be one of the boys and play a video game. Which Okay, and in in that defense, like I, I I do say that kind of shit, like kind of as a joke though, like I'm one of the boys because I I do stuff with the boys, but I'm usually not serious about it because I know video games aren't just for boys. So yes, they are, Alex. Oh, don't you see rated M for men? Oh my god! Oh my god! That I'm gonna awesome. fucking say that for now on. That is so. That was good. That was. We might have to get some colossal shirts that say that because M that men. was good. <laughs> Sorry, I had that, to. All right. That was good. That was witty. I I enjoyed that. Rated M for moose stick. <laughs> moose oh stick. my god! But. On a serious, a serious note, yes, there, I feel like there's a lot more hatred towards women than any. But then you, uh, then you get the derogatory marks too. Like, oh my I, god, I, I yes. notice in game chat when I'm with like with Gigi or someone, like, oh my god, it's a girl, and then all of a sudden the mood completely changes to either one, get better at the game, or two, can I have your number? It's like, bro, yes, there's, just because there's... there's a girl in the lobby. Doesn't mean she wants your dick. Holy yes. shit. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is most of the guys who say that are the no-lifes who have nothing else better to do with their time. Instead of going out in the real world and f trying to find a girl, they have to do it on a video game. Yeah, yeah, I'll just pretty well just tell them swipe, swipe right for Tinder. I mean, just... Yeah, yeah. You, you sit on a video game all day long, you might as well just sit on your phone too, you fucking fat fuck. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I mean, I met my girlfriend on Tinder, I so... I just wanna play... Same, Gigi, I just wanna fucking play. 
And I, hey, honestly, okay, now this, this is gonna sound fucked up, but in my Black Ops 2 days, I actually made, cause, you know, when you didn't have to pay for an account, um, yeah. I actually made a social experiment. It was me, Hunter, Adam, and I know there's one other person with us that did it. We all made girl gamer tags. Oh, I like this. I like and where this went is in, going. We went in the lobbies. Obviously, you didn't have a party chat. You didn't have a you didn't have a chat like this. So we went in, and wow. Yeah, it's it's incredible. Like I've it's... literally gave my number to so many men that when they message That's... me, I just call them. And this was I wish I was recording. I wish I was making content back then because you guys would have fucking loved how toxic I was. I'd answer, I'd call them on the phone. They would, some of them wouldn't answer. I some of them legit would not answer. They were probably scared. But the people that did, me and Hunter would sit there and be like, "Yo, what up?" That is hilarious. And oh my god. The, the reaction I would receive was one of two ways. There was no in between. It was, "What the fuck, you fucking pervert" and shit like that, or they thought it was hilarious. I mean, my god, you know, I was pretty good, my guy. Like, I can't be mad, like, sort of I that vibe. I remember time. saying to one guy, I remember saying, well, if you didn't ask for my number, you wouldn't have fucking got this. How about you just let people play the fucking video game and shut your fucking mouth? Yes, I just cussed a lot. I'm so sorry. But it's just the point that if you're going to ask for someone's number, know who you're talking to or know who you're dealing with. We wouldn't turn our mics on when we did this. We would just... You would just... We would have the it. very like girly name and then yeah so i mean i thought That's, it was fucking hilarious that is pretty funny like i said the the remarks we got though was oh my god <laughs> i see I, I okay told I, so much in black ops 2 it's not even funny i see a lot more of like the hatred on like facebook like on gaming pages on facebook i see a lot of toxicity from from Sometimes even other females. Like I've seen I've seen it from just about every gender that it's it's just incredible to me cuz like talk to gay literally y yes, other gamer girls are like like they'll uh, I don't know. I think it's they their say way nasty of wanting to shit fit in. too. It's literally their I, way of fitting in, I feel like. And I, I think that's what I, fucks it up. I do agree. It's just that the, the girls want to fit in with the guys and prove something. And it's like, then you're with the wrong set of guys. Like, you're with the wrong group of gamers if that's what it takes to fit in. Like, yeah, but it, I've seen. Sad. Now, I will, and I'm definitely going to agree with that because in the all female gamer groups I'm in, there's none of that. Absolutely none. But. In the in the, like the co-ed like the mixed groups, it's everywhere. The fe it's like the same females that are in the all girls gaming group are toxic in the co-ed ones when they're not on the. I don't know. It's just incredible. It's it's funny to me you say that though, because like <sighs> sometimes I can understand toxic gamer girls because maybe they did have enough. I mean, let me just play devil's advocate here. Maybe they did okay. have enough of the bullshit. And, you know, maybe they ran into another toxic female gamer. And then ever since then, and, they were just fucking, they were just bitches. And some women are so, just bitches in general. No offense. So, uh, no, no, you're right. There definitely are huh? some very naturally bitchy <clears throat> guys, <throat> too. But, uh-huh. Only when I'm hungry, bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, okay. But definitely, I definitely agree that that could be the case. That they've just had enough and they just they put on a guard or they put up a guard when they come across another female gamer because it's like, well, what if they're toxic to me? I, I can... Basically, it's a game of, of don't, don't judge someone just based on, you know, do they have boobs? <laughs> Well, in your defense, never mind. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what what's more toxic to you guys when you post a, a 
a clip or just in game? What would be actually more toxic? I feel like. I think like... it all depends on the situation. Um, when you're in game, I think it's gonna be more of like, oh, let me get your number, baby, oh. And then the clips, it's gonna be the toxic comments, like, oh, See, yeah. I think, I think, hardcore, it's just. Whoa. Um, oh, I... hey, Daddy Jake. Personally, I think comments on clips are a little more toxic, and the reason I'm gonna say that is because in game. Usually there's someone in the lobby will defend, like, sometimes. I'm not saying all the time. I don't defend at all. I just fucking go with it. But clips, like, I feel like once one person makes a comment on a clip, other people think they can do it. People are more apt to be toxic behind a keyboard than they are in person. And I feel like in-game is yeah, as close Alex. of in-person. What? You keyboard warrior, that's you. I just, I feel like <laughs> people, people are, are more apt to be toxic over a keyboard than they are in game, but uh, again, I don't... Okay, but in game, uh, okay, so, in, in the new Call of Duties, the new, new game lobbies, you, you switch lobbies every time. Yes, which is nice. So, if we're, if we're talking... In general, like if we use like a PlayStation Three, um, I don't know. Like my personal, uh, again, I'm just a male. I can't really make a full comment on this, but my personal experience, it would have been in game was more toxic because again, I'm I'm going back way way. I'm going from PS fucking three to to now. Right, the right. game lobbies changed now. Back then, they didn't. And Back I then, feel you like had the maybe... same fucking lobby the entire time. And I met GG on, on Call of Duty Ghost. I don't remember. Th I, I honestly cannot remember if there was a lot of toxic people. I, I don't remember because this is so long ago. It was fucking Call of Duty Ghost for crying out loud. This is back when... PlayStation 4 was just being talked about. So, I mean, I can't really... I can't really remember that far back about the lobbies being toxic, but... I will, okay, the lobbies were toxic, no matter what. But yes, I don't yes, know if they were toxic against GG and some of the girl gamers that we played with. Um, I can't I can't remember that far back, just because... I was also one it was of them a long... I was one of them toxic players, but not against females. I was a toxic player against... Did players. you ever? Yeah, it didn't matter who oh. the fuck was in my lobby. I was just toxic in general. Like, oh, you guys are fucking trash. You're dog shit. Right, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, my normal, but, my normal trash talk. But, like, I feel like... And I know I told you that I, I wanted to just stick with female gamers, not female streamers. But even the females, like, on Facebook, they'll post that they're they're getting ready to stream or whatever. Or even other guys will be like... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. People always make the comment, well, if you had a pair of boobs, it would already be yeah, done. And I've I'm seen like, that comment so many times. And I'm like, well, then what's, I mean, okay, in my defense, I don't have really any assets. But, like, my defense is I'm a female. I don't get special treatment. So why do you think all females get special treatment? Like, because I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen no special treatment. <laughs> and just like I said a long time ago, it's all about, it all comes to the amount of time you invest. Moose yes. Knuckle from Vanoss Gaming Crew. Literally seven years to become a full-time YouTuber. Full-time, yep. It took him seven years. Nate Shot, Nate Shot didn't get to where he was right now. It took him ten years. Yeah, it took him, yeah, and a however, lot of money. However, YouTube wasn't, I don't know if YouTube was huge when he started, but it was so hard to actually practice Call of Duty and make content. But he invested his time, his money, yep. and look where he's at. He's, I would, I, I don't know what his net worth is, but goddamn, it's gotta be something I can look good. it up. I, I'll look it up real quick. Nade shot I'd net I'd say it's worth. close to a million. I Ten million dollars as of 2020. Ten million? 
Ten million dollars. Jesus, fuck me. I was way off. I said close to a million. I was fucking nine million off. A uh, uh, hundred thieves is valued Chris, altogether. I think that'd be a sin. What's a sin? Oh God. Oh God. Jesus fucking you. Oh my God. Jesus fuck. Not, me. not if Jesus consents. Okay, but what if Jesus fucks the sins out of me? Well then. <laughs> I mean, is Good that point. really no a sin then? <laughs> God damn, this podcast is awesome. Um, wow. <laughs> but no, that's what I'm saying. It, it took him that that many years. So I just don't understand. Like, I, I don't know. Me, it's going to take... I'm, I'm going to say it's going to take time. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. Agreed. Some like some, lucky, Okay. Though. I mean... some. Yes, I was going to say, some people do get extremely lucky, and they just take I didn't, off. I didn't start but... streaming... I, I don't even know when I started streaming. Maybe. But no, here's my... Th- Here's my thing, though. Like, did they actually just, just one day stream and they took off, or did they? Or do you not see the behind the scenes stuff? Did they actually invest a lot of time in? Because I guarantee you, all these people that just kind of like got famous overnight still put a lot of money and time into their their brand. I I suppose you could call it like. I don't know. I say most of the streamers did invest a lot of time. Yeah, I agree. I unless you're friends with Nate Shot. Well, but then Nate Shot, Nate Shot technically in that case did all the work for them in a sense. He's like that, still... he's, he's like okay. Let's let's compare him to like Eminem in the rap game. Eminem, you know, he I don't give a fuck who said set the standards. Nate Shot for streaming, for content, set the, yes, com- competition. He set the standards. And then on the on the YouTube side, I feel like like people like Vanoss has set a standard, and I would say PewDiePie. But okay, Pew, I I forgot about PewDiePie. Uh, I the knew only there was reason the one. only reason I'm gonna say Nate Shot still set the standard is because he started. He started with yes. YouTube. I didn't even know about YouTube. I didn't know about any of that yeah. shit when I I heard about Nate Shot. To be honest, or YouTube was very not popular. Right. Right. It was so old. YouTube was so old, it still had... If you guys had a phone that had apps, it was still the fucking television. Oh my... Oh my god! I remember that on my iPod. Holy That's what shit. I'm saying. That's when he started putting videos on. That old... Holy shit. I couldn't even remember what his first YouTube was. I really couldn't. But he was a young, Nate shot, and never since then, I do not care who you are. He's my idol. He's who I look forward to. That's the type of standards I'm looking for, Colossal. And I, you know, I'm, that's why in the in the meeting... Oh, no, did I say... I didn't mention anything about promoting, did I? No, probably not. I don't think I did. But I was going to say, like, we, we're going to have to start investing money into it. Like, not a whole lot of money at a time. That's why, but... that's why I'm setting money aside. My own hard-earned money I'm putting putting aside for Colossal. Right now, it's for my computer. But after that, I'm putting a lot of money into it. Well, I, like, I I'm just thinking... I got standards I'm going to be setting for everybody. I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, it, you know, if someone could spare $10 to do a, a promotion run on, like, Facebook or something, like, let's do it, like. Well, because we're getting we get, so big. There's no, there's we, no if ands, or buts about that. I will take us to the fucking top. I don't give a fuck. When we do that, when we promote and spend, like, even the $10 to promote, we we get a few people, like, we're at least reaching people. Like, who gives a fuck what they do once it reaches them? But it's getting it out there. I don't know. And that's... I don't understand. Jake's muted, but it won't let me unmute him. It did that to me yesterday. I love you, Jake. Um, But yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. You got... Those streamers like that, like Nate Shot, Tim the Tatman, you know, they built their community. They're yes. Not, they're not female. I don't know how long it actually took them. I don't really care how long it took them. Because look because where they're no at matter, now. No matter what happens, it's going to take time. Female, male, 
transgender, whoever you want to be, a goat, I don't care. It's going to take time to build a community if you're nobody. Yes, agreed. And I do feel like, and it's it's kind of going to sound bad, but not really. Um, I do feel like in the streaming world right now, it's it's all in who you know. I can I can get behind that. I mean, again, you make which is why like, like said, they're... with Nate Shot. If if you were Nate Shot's friend, you if he shouted you out. Next thing you know, you're fucking ten million followers yeah. next day or some shit. It's crazy. Well. And, and I feel like in the case of that's why they tell you to network because it's all in the people you know. You get into other little communities, like, and you start interacting with their chat. Some of them will come to your chat when you stream, like, but that takes time. That's where you have to invest your time in. You gotta be one of the is, keyboard warriors. Well, in a nice way, you have to be a keyboard warrior. Well, warriors can be nice. Look at me. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm a keyboard warrior. I've made three people delete their posts every time I comment on it. Yes, I, <laughs> yes, I keep that on tab. Hey, whatever. I keep a tally mark. I'm, I'm pretty sure I made someone delete their post today, so... They don't want to argue with me. They'll lose. Well, mine wasn't even an argument. I was just kind of stating, like, some rebuttals to the argument they made. And I'm okay, pretty sure now this is this it. is where I'm going to lose a lot of people. I can't get behind girl streamers who actually show off their body. Okay, and now here's my question. Like, I obviously, I know you can tell the difference between them intentionally doing it and, and not doing it. But a lot of times, this is where I see a lot of hate, too. In the middle of summer, they're just wearing a tank top, and they get a lot of hate for it. Well, you should put clothes on. It's like, it's fucking hot, my guy. Like, I'm not going to put layers on in a fucking room that's, like, 80 degrees. I'm, I want to be comfortable. At least comfortable enough. I'm not going to put a sweatshirt on to appease your eyes. Like, okay, sorry. What about, now, here's my question. What about the, the workout women who do that, but then put their breasts up close to the screen when they're working out. Again, my argument to all that is we always get mad at the women, but never at the men that buy into it. Okay, but what about the kids that watch it? What if a kid gets on there and watches it? That's my problem. Well, okay. If I catch my 13-year-old boy watching I'm going to beat the fuck out of him in the first place. Oh, oh, honey. 13-year-olds watch porn. Believe me. I like, tell them, don't they... watch porn. Don't watch that, bitch. I said, fucking get on Pornhub for all I give a fuck. Don't, don't, don't buy into a woman who wants to promote their stream and make money off of it that way. Go, go do that somewhere else. What, what do you think porn stars do? Okay, that's <laughs> porn stars. That's a whole ass fucking different ass fucking platform. It's not made for YouTube, Twitch, and anything else. That's what I'm getting at. It's not made for platforms where people should either it's a gaming gaming streaming or, or, or just chatting podcast it should be shit like that all right i can understand work out that's great work out you can do a workout stream i'm not i'm not opposing that i'm saying you got an audience don't 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 make it don't make it a toxic place okay only Which fans, I, I... only fans was made for people to promote their livelihood, not porn. Which, okay, in, in the terms of OnlyFans, though, I, I do think that that's a better environment for that kind of stuff. Like, oh, you know, you pay me $25 and you'll get a workout video where they're a little sensual. Okay, you're paying for that, so you have to be authorized, you know, to buy that. I don't know, that's, that's slightly different to me, but I, I get your point. Yeah, I mean, if you want to be a prostitute, go be a prostitute somewhere else. Sorry. Prostitute definition is an act of sexual, um, sexual, not intercourse, but just sexual Favor. favors in general. It doesn't matter what you are. If, if I ask someone to take their clothes off for 20 bucks, that's prostitution. I'm paying them for sexual needs. That's what the, it doesn't matter what you do. If, if you're paying someone to do that, it is prostitution. Just saying. 
Now I will I will give a lot of girl streamers credit when they do see like uh, some sexual comments. Their moderators are on it. I've seen that on a lot of them streams that I, I just I can't stand and they get deleted and banned right away. Which I do right. I do appreciate that. But you're still you're you're still showing something that I in my opinion you shouldn't, especially if a kid's on there. Okay? Which Pornhub's different than Twitch. Well, I get that, but in my okay, my opinion on that is Okay, for instance, when you get on my stream, there's the mature audience warning. If you click that that mature audience, you're you're pretty well waving over your rights. That if you see a little bit of skin, like, and I know it still shouldn't be on. And the argument to that is, if you see it, you got to report it. Like, okay, you, a thirteen year, you're telling me a thirteen year old can get on Pornhub? You, you what? Where's the mature audience there? It's implied that you're. You're over the age of 18. Okay, and so you're it's telling implied... me a 13 year old kid just can't click okay on that? Well, and it's implied that you're telling the truth when you click that. I know it doesn't seem like it works, and it it doesn't. It might turn some people away. I will say that because mature. if I see them a mature audience, I'm going to immediately think swearing. I'm going to imagine someone dropping the F bomb like we do, you know, every 10 seconds. And that's why on my YouTube, it's not made for kids. None exactly exactly so like i it doesn't it doesn't help a hundred percent for sure but it waves over your responsibility as the streamer that you can't get in trouble for it so i still just don't agree with it like, oh, so I, I, speak- I'm not saying twitch has to take responsibility i'm saying the person doing it if you really want you can go somewhere else to do that. Just my personal opinion. I'm sure you make hella more money on fucking OnlyFans. Nowadays. I mean, OnlyFans wasn't around this whole time, but I guarantee you'd probably make more. Speaking of which, go ahead. Alex? Are you dead? No, I'm I'm right here. Uh, Jake was talking. I have him muted. It won't unmute him. It's not my fault. Jake, he says you're muted. And it won't unmute him. Oh, I finally. And they honestly don't make a lot more, a lot of money. Okay, what was you saying? I said I have a couple friends that have OnlyFans, and they don't make a lot of money with their new uh. There are no rules that they have on OnlyFans. Oh, and because Pokey, because Pokemon fucked it all up. Okay, but OnlyFans wasn't made for porn. No, it was. It wasn't. That's but... what I'm saying. Like, there's platforms for mm-hmm. that. That's that's literally my entire point to this. Like, I don't want to see half naked women on my Twitch, especially if I had a kid. Because it's well, e- then don't get... easier access. Is what I'm getting at. Okay, porn is one thing. So wait till I tell you. You're probably gonna delete your Twitter after this. But wait till I tell you Twitter's policy on nudity. Oh god, so, on my Twitter I had so much nudity I had to delete it. So <laughs> if if say for instance I take a video of myself naked, Twitter will allow it. As long as I consent to the video being posted, nudity's allowed. I'm allowed to be stark ass naked on Twitter. Okay. And they won't have an issue with it. I know that. I know Twitter don't have a policy on that. However, what's bigger? Twitch or Twitter? Twitter. Okay. What can you limit as a parent? Well, I mean, technically, I guess you could limit both, but... Twitch is going to... Uh, to me, Twitch is going to be harder to limit. Twitter? Not not so much. Because I can get on Twitch. I don't know who you're following on Twitch. I ain't got a clue. If I get on my son's account, I can see who he's Twitch. following. You can limit Which, that, and you can also limit their phone ability. Yes, yes, you can definitely limit phone ability. And I look at the fact if you can monitor it or not. Pornhub, again, I ha- we had this discussion however long ago about porn. You can't limit Pornhub to me. There's this. Yes, yeah, there's yes no you way. can. Okay, how are you going to do it, though? You 
there should be an option under your internet provider where you can okay, you can ban. Your, before you go any further, I I know that, I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about when they go to school. You can't limit that. But you can't limit anything when they're out of your house because That's it's out of I'm your saying. control. Pornhub's way more like, I don't know. I just feel like little Timmy down the road meets up with Billy. And Billy's parents doesn't give a fuck. All right, well, there's where he's getting all of his shit from. But at the house, you can limit Pornhub. You can limit all the stuff at your house. But Twitch is going to be harder to limit. Well, and I feel like in, in that case, Twitch will be harder to limit anyways because you don't know if they're getting on there to watch an actual gamer. Like or... Tim Chapman. I think he's fucking hilarious. Right, right. You don't know if if they're getting on to do that kind of unless you're up their ass about it. But... Or Murat Gamer, I think he's hilarious too. But that's just uh huh. Yeah, he's he's real funny. Again, I think I think if people would stop buying into it, I feel like we'd see a huge decrease in that kind of content. But the problem is that people men are, are buying into it. Yes, men are pigs, and they buy into it. I, I, women buy into it too because they like to be either they're you know they're bisexual, lesbian, or they're just supportive of someone. I mean, I take my shirt off during the stream, but I don't know if anyone wants to see it. That's the problem. Same, same. <laughs> I know no one wants to see this. <laughs> well, you would probably get away with it, though. Shut the fuck up. God, that's horrible. Wow, where'd Jake go? He left us. <laughs> see, I was going to tell him... The person on my Snapchat, I'm not going to mention any names because I'm live and I'm recording, but I know they made a lot of money on fucking OnlyFans. I think it depends on what you sell. And who you know. It's still and the who platform. you know. It's still the platform. It's, yep. You still have to network. You still have to get your name out somehow. I'm just oh, saying. Fuck, I'm going... Fuck, I'm going down fucking TikTok, and I I see these girls who sell their panties for, like, $80 a pair, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm in the wrong fucking job, like. Well, yeah, just like uh, Belle Dufine, I, I mean. Yep. But that's a whole ass different story. Yeah, that that is, and that, I do agree with that. That is a little different, but. Little? But it's that's just, a it, lie. That's not, she ain't fucking sitting there promoting that shit on Twitch. It, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's why it's oh, different. Oh, and we is. gotta remember, we gotta remember, some of these girls from Twitch did come from, uh, what the hell is that thing called? Cam Girls or some shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'm just saying, there there is a place for that. Go, go back to that. Or go to Pornhub. That is, I might get a lot of hate for that, but that's just my opinion. You're not gonna change it. Uh, okay, honestly, and I, I feel like maybe this could work, is, you know how, now people go to streams and they're like, oh, you know, here's my OnlyFans, like, click this, subscribe to it for, like, you know, more content. How easy would it be for these people to, to let's say, wear just something comfortable, but something not, I don't know, revealing? For lack of better word. How easy would it be for them to wear just, like, a tank top and some pajama pants? And on their stream, be like, if you want, if you guys want to see the sexy stuff, you're you're gonna have to to go to like Pornhub or something for it, like, because then that promotes both their channels. Like, they're already on their Twitch channel. So I don't know. Like you said, there's a, a place for it. But unfortunately, other than, like, porn websites, there's really... OnlyFans is about... Oh, Patreon. Patreon might be... Oh, yeah, that... Patron or whatever. I know what you're talking about. Patreon. However you say it. Whatever that shit is. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of it. Because, like... It also takes away from, like, people like me, you, Ethan, all the people that's smaller. And I... You can I, call I, me I selfish, both... that's fine. I don't care. I, I can agree and disagree with that, with that statement. I, I can. Well, go ahead. Disagree with it. 
Well, okay. It it they're definitely they're watching them instead of smaller like small streamers. But at the same time, like I have three streams up right now. Who what you know what's stopping anyone else from watching both? Like I feel like you can you don't have to be in one community as a as a viewer. Like you can be in multiple communities. Twitch communities. So like I can agree with it. I see I definitely see the logic behind why you'd say that. But then at the same time I'm like, but nothing's stopping these people from watching other people at the same time. Hmm. That's the only argument. Because, I don't know. I just... You can call me sh sh uh, selfish. Oh my god, I can't even fucking talk. Well, I'm not going to call you selfish because I, I, do, I do see your logic. I mean, you you sitting there, this woman could have thousands of viewers. It's like, it's like when Ninja got kicked from from Twitch or whatever. whatever. Ha oh, he left. He left and went to, uh, what the fuck was that? Mixer. So many other, other like, diehard Twitch people didn't want to go to Mixer so they would watch other streamers. Well, I Same mean. Same with Dr. Disrespect. Except for I think most of his fan base actually did go to YouTube to watch him. I feel like most of his fan base was already on YouTube. Like, just because YouTube's such a widely used... Mixer wasn't. And that's what I'm saying. People just... Again, people don't like change. So, they're just gonna stick to Twitch and watch someone else. Yeah, yeah, well, they're just okay, find... okay, yeah. Like, the person that looked like Ninja. Remember? Remember I was in the news or some shit? The guy that looked ah. like Ninja got more followers because he looked like Ninja? That's sad, but that's... What that's how he brand. That's how he branded himself then, like... He didn't do a look-alike. He just he just looked like Ninja. He just looked like him, yeah. Like not out of anything he did. That's just how the that's the exactly what I'm fell. talking about. You get rid of that, and next thing you know, the smaller streamers become bigger, and then they understand the struggle. So then they branch out to smaller streamers. So you okay? So we're talking about like the long-term effect. Like I, like well, no, no. I mean specifically, we're talking like that Chloe girl, like. She raids small streamers. Yeah, she does a streamer. Yeah, she knows how hard she, it was. Yes, she understands, and she's trying to help help other people. Because she's to me, that's a small streamer right now. Yeah, she's still and we're, we're she's still quite that, small. Yeah. yeah, like she, but she has a community. She's you know she's got a a bit of a brand going for her. like she's got a sponsorship with G Fuel. So, like, she's still quite, she's like a medium streamer, medium-sized streamer, I'd say. She's got her community, she's got her brand, she's got her viewers, but she's still not a big streamer. But she's getting there. But she remembers her roots. That's the big thing, I think. Yeah, she remembers where she came from, like me. Yep. Ethan, you want to add anything about this subject? Or are you dead? I think he might be dead. He might be getting laid. He might be getting laid too. And my voice on the TV is going to soothe him. Oh my god, it's going to make him... Never mind. Yo, remember, this is going on YouTube, chill. <laughs> we need to keep it M for men. M for men, oh my god. Well, I think it was a very good topic. And I'm going to stick with it. Girls just want a game. Girls just want, yep, girls just want a game. Leave them the fuck alone. <laughs> Unless they ask for the, the nasty shit, because that's what they're into. Leave them and alone. no, they won't get up and make you a fucking sandwich, because they're probably beating your ass on Call of Duty. Unless you can beat them. <laughs> oh, I don't oh my god. 
So speaking of that, I saw a video on TikTok and it had me in fucking tears. This girl joins this lobby and these guys are like, go make me a fucking sandwich. And she freaking like, I think she's playing Search and Destroy. She six O's them and gets like, aces them like three times. And I think on the third ace, they were like, I think we spoke too soon. And I was like, this is the single handed best video I've ever watched. And she did it with a sniper rifle. Like, she... Hey, you were right. I was getting laid. <laughs> oh, my God. And my voice soothed him. It's the only reason why I could finish. <laughs> Jesus. You gotta love it. I hope every... <laughs> Alright, before anything else gets said, I'm definitely gonna end this <laughs> podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed it. These will be back every Monday. And hopefully Ethan is here with us talking more because there's some subjects that we're going to be talking about in the next few podcasts. It's going to be fucking fantastic. He's gave me a good list. Music conspiracy. Um, I definitely want to touch on that a lot. Um, and then we're obviously going to do our daily cryptid, but we're going to wait for... Nando on that one. Um, he's got a cryptid he wants to talk about. Um, so there is going to be a nice little schedule of um, podcasts. So I hope you guys, if you did not join this one, this is why I started this one with CG and the Girl Gamer. No offense, I don't think. I mean, it, we can talk about it, obviously. I just feel like it was a lower. It was a good thing to start with. Yes. So every day at 9 p.m. or every Monday, every Monday. at 9 p.m., join us. Maybe next time I won't start out with my mic muted um, and <laughs> we'll end up actually being able to talk right away. But tell your friends, tell your grandma in the nursing home, um, tell everybody Mondays at 9 is now Mondays with Murdoch. Fuck Monday Night Football. Fuck any sports that's on TV. Hell Come yeah. Here. You're going to love it more than anything on national television. We don't care about that stuff. We don't care about hockey. We don't care about baseball, football. Hey, now, 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 you might, you might be taking it a little too far now. <laughs> we don't care about the UFC. We don't care about Alex like in hockey. We're here for Mondays <laughs> with Murdoch at 9 p.m. on Mondays. That's it's literally in the name. Mondays with Murdoch. It's not going to be that hard to remember what day. So... Wait, can you tell me what day Mondays with Murdoch is? Um, it's the day after Sunday and before Tuesday. Okay, just wanted to be it's sure. Before tacos. Okay, before tacos. Good deal. Before tacos. So, tell your friends, tell your family, join. You guys can even join in at a discussion. Um, if you want topics, post them. Post them in the comments. Open up my Discord. I'll have the Discord. Just open it up. Put it in the suggestion box. We will talk about it. I promise you. Um, I actually do not know what next week's topic is going to be. I'm also kind of revolving them a little bit around Ethan. Because I like when Ethan joins our conversations. Especially since he's got a big list to talk about. Um, I definitely want to talk about uh, United States. I, I have a huge one, and I think Ethan will enjoy that one with me. Um, yeah, I think United so. Nation with different state laws. You know why? How are we a United Nation with with state laws? I don't I don't understand. We're, we're United States of America, but there's borders. Yeah, I think that's going to be a big subject because I'm huge on hating the government. We're a land of the free, but yet we have closed borders. Exactly. So, me and him can probably just fucking just rag on that all day long. That one might be a one subject. I don't know. Um, some days we might have two subjects. I haven't decided. Again, it all depends on what we can get in in one, one night. Um, fossil fuel, renewable resources, music, conspiracy. Um... Controversial movies, books, topics, technology, clueless, clueless content, research topics as you go. I like that one. I think we should try that one one day. Just kind of open one up and just talk. 
Um, historical figures. Ethan, that's a good one. Talk about just music in general. But yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have a, a good list coming. So, hope you guys stay tuned. And I'm ending this stream to start a gaming stream. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.